A very good evening and welcome to BCN News. Our top story tonight, the former speaker, Tongia Valupihingia, is a strong contender for the speakership. Tongia Valupihingia's name was announced at a village meeting recently held as a strong contender for the speakership. The former speaker is the nomination of MPs elect led by Delton Tangilangi. A new Premier and Speaker of Parliament will be elected tomorrow in the opening of the 17th Legislative Assembly. The election of the Speaker takes place first before any other business at the first meeting of the Assembly. The Speaker will be voted into office by an absolute majority of the 20 members. In the history of the Fono Ekepule, the Speaker has always been someone from outside the elected 20 members of the Assembly. The opening of Parliament or the first meeting of the Assembly is when the 20 members elect will take the oath of office. The members may choose to take the oath in either Vanghao Nue or in English. After the members have all taken their oath, the Speaker will proceed with election of the Premier. Once the Premier is elected, he or she will have seven days to inform the Speaker of their nominations of the three members to form the Cabinet of Ministers. The Premier will also inform the Speaker of the nominations of four members assisting ministers commonly known as MAMs. New Air Tourism has welcomed possibilities for New Air to be included as one of the realm countries in the Trans-Tasman travel bubble. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinta Ardern, while speaking on the AM show yesterday, said government is working on the Trans-Tasman travel bubble with Australia and is looking at including Pacific Island countries. New Zealand moved to level one from midnight yesterday with calls by neighbouring Pacific Island countries to be included in the Trans-Tasman bubble. Ardern said New Zealand government will look to see whether Pacific Island countries are in similar positions. She acknowledged that New and Cook Islands have been COVID-19 free and are realm countries that New Zealand would look to in the first instances. The Prime Minister stated the Cabinet is concentrating on formulating a framework for the travel bubble and there's a lot of work to be done in terms of logistics which the New Zealand government is focusing on now before opening borders such as border settings and screening all incoming passengers and keeping those who are COVID-19 free separate from those travelling internationally. Why don't we open up a bubble with um, Fiji and Samoa? They don't have cases. We could do this midnight tonight. Um Firstly, you'd need to, firstly, Samoa would need to want to, and at this point, that's not something that they've been seeking. They have had experience with measles outbreaks, and so obviously they're taking a very cautious approach. Um, with other Pacific Island nations, yes, we would look to see whether or not we're in similar positions. Um, places like Cook Islands, Nui, have been um, looked to have been COVID-free, and so uh, and they're realm countries, uh, and so you would, you would assume, of course, that we would be looking in that direction um, in the first instances. Responding to the news, new. New Air Tourism's acting CEO Moka Yoane Laufoli welcomed the prospect of New Air's inclusion in the travel bubble. She says, quote, New Air Tourism is aware of the consequences and effects of COVID-19 and always puts locals' health first. With the New Zealand's PM comment in them considering New and Cook Islands in a travel bubble, we are pleased by this but at the same time must be vigilant as we patiently await the decision of the New Air government in, re in regards to travel restrictions. And finally, as uh, World Oceans Day was marked yesterday, New Air reiterated calls for the conservation of the marine environment. Caretaker Minister for Natural Resources Delton Tangilangi tweeted a message on World Oceans Day encouraging others to follow suit New Air's measures in protecting our ocean. In his tweet message, Delton Tangilangi said, quote, It's all humankind, especially leaders' duty of care. We will only have a sense of belonging to the oceans if we care. Join us. Preserve some parts of your EEZ as marine protected areas. Unquote. In April this year, Niue marked a milestone after Cabinet formally established the Niue Mohana Mahu Marine Protected Area and the Nukutulu Eatama Beverage Special Management Area by approving the regulation. 40% of Niue's exclusive economic zone is now a large scale marine protected area. Prior to this, Delton Tangilangi, as Minister for Natural Resources, had represented New Air at the Our Oceans Conference held in Malta in 2017, where he announced New Air's plans to conserve 40% of its EEZ. And that's BCN News for tonight. Thank you for watching. Do join us same time tomorrow. Until then, have a safe evening.